God's word is powerful because it has a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth became illumined by his plunder. He cried out in a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. She has become the haunt of four demons. She is a cage for every unclean spirit a cage of every unclean bird, a cage for every unclean and disgusting beast. A mighty angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and threw it into the sea and said, With such force will Babylon, the great city, be thrown down and will never be found again. No melodies of harpists and musicians flautists and trumpeters, will ever be heard in you again. No craftsman in any trade will ever be found in you again. No sound of millstone will ever be heard in you again. No light from a lamp will ever be seen in you again. No voices of bride and groom will ever be heard in you again. Because your merchants were the great ones of the world, all nations were led astray by your magic potion. After this, I heard what sounded like a loud voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, Alleluia! Salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for true and just are his judgments. He has condemned the great harlot who corrupted the earth with his harlotry. He has avenged on her the blood of his servants. They said a second time, Alleluia! Smoke will rise from her forever and ever. Then the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who have been called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Responsorial Psalm Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Sing joyfully to the Lord all your lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Know that the Lord is God. He made us His we are. His people, the flock He tends. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb. For he is good, the Lord whose kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Blessed are they who are called to the wedding feast of the Lamb.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled. Woe to pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon these people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles. And Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun and moon and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken, and then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all brotherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunglock and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <music>